The transfiguration of Jesus is a profound revelation and blessing to every Christian who seeks to know God intimately. Matthew, Mark, and Luke vividly recount the incident, revealing Jesus' identity as the Son of God and strengthening his apostles. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and God bless you. In the Gospels, Jesus took Peter, James, and John up a high mountain. While Jesus was praying, he was transfigured before them, with his face shining like the sun and his garments becoming white as light. The prophet Elijah, representing the prophets, and Moses, representing the law, appeared and conversed with Jesus. Luke noted that they spoke about Jesus' departure, which he was about to accomplish in Jerusalem, Luke 9, 31. God reveals himself deeply to those who diligently seek him. The apostles had already left their way of life to follow Jesus. As scripture tells us, Jesus would speak to the crowds in parables and then explain the hidden meanings to the apostles. He would take Peter, James, and John for deeper revelations. This demonstrates that sacrifice and sincerely loving God pay huge dividends. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29, 13. For Christians, the transfiguration signifies that something beautiful and amazing happens to our lives whenever we pray. Prayer, therefore, is not just about presenting our petitions. It is primarily about being in the presence of God. Just as Jesus and Moses radiated after staying in God's presence at prayer, we too will radiate if we become people of systemic prayer. When Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the covenant law in his hands, he was not aware that his face was radiant because he had spoken with the Lord. Exodus 34, 29. We are encouraged to seek God in prayer ceaselessly because, in His presence, every yoke in our lives is broken by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. It shall come to pass in that day that His burden will be taken away from your shoulder and His yoke from your neck, and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil, Isaiah 10:27. May we become children of prayer who seek our Father's presence out of love for Him. May he continually bless us today and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and God bless you.